I'm the first in my family to go to college. I grew up as a fisherman, a farmer, and it was such a privilege just to be in the classroom. We teach the way we were taught, and that assumes how it was really effective, and often it was textbook learning as opposed to creativity, originality, focus on the process of science. Today, Helen was the primary student who's interested in ferns, uh, using them as an indicator of climate change and helping us understand just how bad is it gonna be, whether the plants are gonna be able to adapt quickly enough to this climate change. And no one's done this before. It's a brilliant idea, it's a new idea. It will help progress our understanding. We may be the only people out here right now, you know that? I know. Only people on uh, Chrissy Beach and on this side of the island. So hopefully we don't run out of gas. What are these ferns over here? How about these up here on the left? Unbelievable. Wow. It's got a real uh, delicate, thin leaf. So you have to go down pretty deep because uh, the root is down about that deep. Small schools like Pepperdine with just small classes. We don't have to have all these resources and all this equipment. We can do simple things right in our backyard on campus and they're in a natural laboratory with infinite questions with a lot of mystery that remains. So it means you want to get a very dense clump, suggesting the rhizome is dense. So the rhizome is just under the soil surface and is swollen and has little buds like that that uh, newly emerge and turn green when it rains. An exciting way for me to start as a teacher to realize I have students that can think on their own. So I expect things out of you I want your ideas. I want your insight. And I know you haven't been trained yet in this. That's okay, because you got good minds, great experience, and you have an advantage over me, the teacher. Is that the way you remember it? Trip like this to the island, what it does, it's an application of what we're attempting to teach and they're attempting to learn in the classroom. But it's just a textbook. It's not the real thing. When you come to an island, you're testing hypotheses, you're answering questions, then it's the real process of science being applied to real important issues. So the question is, is our plants on the island more susceptible to dehydration and are they more reliant on fog and foliar water uptake? And one way to test that is to excavate these, take them back to the Santa Monica Mountains and Malibu grow them in a common garden and compare them to mainland ferns versus island ferns. And I don't fall in and splash me. I'll do pretty good otherwise. The problems out there in the world and in science and everywhere are really complex. So you need diverse viewpoints. And that's where collegiality, camaraderie, teamwork, and just that continual critique and then realize we're a learning community. We're an identity group. We're in this together. It's really challenging, it's really risky, and it's really complex. But this diversity viewpoint from the team is a way to realize a goal and to, to celebrate that. And we're striving to really contribute and to make a difference. 